For today's video, we will address the topic of hotspot analysis for crime rate in three dimensions spatial, temporal and attribute or value dimension. First, we will learn how to structure the Excel data that we need. For the second part, I will show you how to create a space-time cube with the three dimensions we want to analyze. And finally, to finish this tutorial, I will show you how to create a map with hot and cold spots, in which we will identify new hot and cold spots, intensifying hot and cold spots, among others. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Excel table. Right here we have the municipalities, the joint code that we are going to use to, to join this table with the shapefile. Right here we have the years. Uh, it is very important that you don't forget to change this to date. Uh, if not, this is not going to work and you will not be able to create a space-time cube. After this column we have the number of crimes, population and finally the crime rate that is number of crimes uh, divided by population uh, and then multiplied by a thousand. To represent a space-time cube, it's very important to understand how we have to represent our data in Excel, first of all. To do this, each line in of our table represents a municipality and whenever we want to represent a new here, we then have to duplicate the municipalities, the code, and the attribute that we want to represent, so in this case, the, the crime rate. Now in ArcGIS Pro, let's start by adding the necessary data to our project. So let's try to find our folder that is in the desktop. Let me find it. Oh, I think it's not here. Let me see here. Okay, this one. And let's start by adding the municipalities. So the municipalities from, from Portugal. The data is imported. Let's see the coordinate system of this data. ETRS 89 from Portugal. And now let's start by adding the crime rate from Portugal. Let's see what we have here in the attribute table of the shape file. Let's open this one too. Let's click right here to have them side by side. And as you can see, Agda right here and right here and the code is the same. So this code, deco and join code will be the code that we are going to use to join um, the shape file table and the Excel table. Okay. Let's clear the data that we that we previously select. And now let's go to click here, more tools, and let's try to find space-time cube. A space-time cube in GIS is a 3D data structure that integrates spatial and temporal dimensions, representing spatial data over time. It visualizes how phenomena change and interact across both space and time, enabling the analysis of spatial and temporal patterns, trends, and relationships. Okay. We will be using this one, space-time cube from defined locations. Let's wait a bit. Okay, for the input features we will use the municipalities. Right here it's the, the folder and the name that we are going to use. For example, I will use STC underscore crimes, location ID deco, this will be the Excel table, and join code for the code. Here's, here you choose years too, the time interval will be one year, we don't need to change this. And for the variables, we we'll want to represent the crime rate. And fill empty bins. Since we don't have any empty bins, so every bin has a value, it's, uh, it's not important which one you select. Let's click on Run. And let's wait a little bit again. After the space-time cube is finished, 
uh, what we are going to do is actually to visualize our data in cubes, uh, in 3D cubes. To do that, let's search for visualize spacetime cube and choose the 3D option. Right here, we, we are going to import the, the cube, cube variable, the crime rate that was created. We will represent the values and let's give a name and a location for the output. VSTC underscore crimes, for example. Let's click on save. Current map. And let's click run. And there we have our spacetime cube represented in the map. To visualize it on, in 3D, let's go to view and convert this to a local scene or a global scene. Let's wait a bit, okay. Let's try to move the map around to see all of our data rep represented in 3D cubes. So each cube represents a here, uh, a municipality and a crime rate, okay? So as you can see, for example, we have the date, we have the value of the crime rate. And so the, uh, the cubes uh, on the bottom are the, the older ones and on the top, the new ones. Let's remove the space time cube and to finish the map, we are going to create an emerging hotspot analysis. To do that, you just go to analysis, click right here, more tools, and search for Emerging Hotspot Analysis. The Emerging Hotspot Analysis tool identifies areas where spatial clusters of high or low values are newly emerging over time. It evaluates changes in the spatial distribution of phenomena, helping to detect emerging trends, patterns and anomalies. You select this one. For the input, you select the spacetime cube Analysis variable will be the crime rate. Let's give a name and save it to our folder. EHSA underscore crimes, for example. Let's click on save. And for the remaining fields, we don't need to change anything in this example. Let's just create the emerging spot analysis and there we have as you can see we have several fields represented in our table for example if we go to to the south of portugal right here in algarve we can see that this is um, sporadic hotspots uh, for example right here new hotspots and let's see this municipality Villa de Rey. Villa de Rey seems to be a persistent cold spot. So from 2002 to 2022, the crime rate was always low. Here, uh, oscillating cold spot. And for the remaining, um, for example, Lisbon, Bragança or Villa Real, no pattern was detected. If you have any questions, use the comment section below because I will be very happy to help you. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.